Okay, so uh, reflection is uh, kind of an issue here, but you kind of see me, camera, whatever. But um, so I caused this. I unplugged. I was changing some plugs around and, and uh, didn't realize that the controller was running, but I had the monitor switched off. And I unplugged it from the wall while it was running. So I think I caused this problem. But the question is how to fix it. And I figured it out. And I had done some research on the internet and didn't find anything. So I figured I'd just make a quick video of, of actually what, what solved this. Um, so basically it's saying that it didn't find the, uh, didn't find the path pilot operating system. I think the other part of it was it booted into BIOS mode, it booted into a BIOS configuration mode and it asked me if I wanted to reset the values and I think I, I I'm trying to remember, but I think I hit something that reset everything back to original specs. Um, so you need to go in and fix that, but there's a there's a bit of a trick to that. So we're gonna hit F2 to get back into get back into the BIOS here. Or we're not. Might be a side effect of the actual solution to one of the problems, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so now we're in the BIOS. Keep changing the angle of this thing. Let's focus a little bit better. Okay, so problems, and I actually found, I'm not the first owner of this thing. So there is a page that gives you the information here, but not all the information um, on troubleshooting if, if your PathPilot system won't boot. So first thing you need to do, and the easiest one, is you need to go to peripherals, go down to where it says SATA mode selection, and change this to AHCI. Okay, so that's the easy one. Then you have this issue of the date currently is showing as 2012. Well, it's not 2012, so when I fixed the other thing, it came back and said that, the, that one of the errors I got was that the date wasn't correct. Um, so you go down and you think, oh, well, I'll just change that and it'll probably work now. So. But you, you sit here and you type numbers, and I swear that it changed because today is the 9th of December. Um, I, uh, I swear that I changed this to the 9th by just typing, just typing the numbers. And so then I got to the year, and it won't change. Well, okay. So I went and found another keyboard and tried to go in through PS2 because I thought it was a thought it was an issue and well the other keyboard was the solution I think actually let me test the solution is you need to you need to do page up yeah you need or not page up you need to do plus and minus um, actually it says page up oh well that's stupid never mind you don't actually need another keyboard um, so page up, page down is actually how you fix this. And if you can read, it does say that right here. Um, so that's the solution, I think. Uh, now we've got this set correctly. Uh, so we get the same problem here. Okay. So now we're going to save and exit.
Okay, so now path pilot's loading. So that fixes the issue. I thought that the other part of it was that you needed another keyboard. It didn't, and, it, and this was just another USB keyboard. I thought you needed one with the, with the um, number pad on it because just the number section of this wasn't, wasn't making that work. But you don't actually need that. You just need to use the page up, page down button. But those are the menus that you need to change in the BIOS um, in, order to, uh, in order to get this thing to reboot if you have that issue where it gets reset for one reason or another. Um, that does come in the Pathpilot documentation, but I didn't see anything on the internet about um, in my searches about resetting it. So hopefully that'll help somebody out.